everyone welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by thank you for always supporting this channel so guys in this video i'll be showing you how to make a short dress that will be having three layers of gathers at the lower part so what i have here is the, is the shoulder to the hip measurement what i need for the shoulder to the hip measurement which will be the upper part of the dress then the gathers will make up the full length of the dress so now i also marked out the zipper allowance this is the back panel I marked out the one and a half inch zipper allowance. You can also use one inch and it's still fine. So this is for the front panel and the dress will be having a high neck. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, please keep on watching. So I'll start by placing the shoulder measurement, which is 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half. So I'll mark it here, seven and a half. And then I'll make my shoulder slip. I'll come down by one inch on that line. For the shoulder slope the neck width that i'll be working with is three inches three inches so i'll connect this to this for my shoulder slope so for the armhole i'll come down by seven and a half inches i'll come down seven and a half inches from the slope because it's a sleeveless dress seven and a half so let me mark eight and a half here so I can connect the line. So let me mark out the waistline and the hip line and the full length of the upper part. So the waistline is 16 inches. The hip line is 26 inches, but the full length of this upper part is 25 inches. Plus one inch sewing allowance. So this one inch sewing allowance is to attach it to this upper part. It's half inch to attach to the upper part and half inch to attach to the gather. So, so I'll be marking out 26 inches here. I don't want this, I don't want the gather to start below her hip i want the gathers to be directly on her hip line so that is why i use 25 inches so it will be more beautiful sorry 26 inches this is 26 inches i'll place seven and a half here that's the shoulder measurement and i'll connect it So I've connected this and now I'll place the boss measurement on this line. So the boss measurement that I'm working with is 32 inches divided by 4 is 8 inches. 8 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. I'll add it. So now I can curve the armhole. I'll get the midpoint of this 7.5. So the midpoint is... The midpoint of seven and a half is three and three quarter. So let me place it three and three quarter here. Then I'll come in by three quarter of an inch, three quarter of an inch, which is here, to curve the front armhole. And I'll connect from here to here to here. I'll just make a curve. Okay, that is for the front angle. That is for the front angle. For the back, I will not be coming in by three quarter of an inch. So I'll just, when I'm cutting the back, I'll just cut it from here. You know? I'll place the neck with the neck depth. The neck depth for the front will be three inches, and for the back it will be one inch. So let me place for the front three inches. 
inches. So I'll make it close. For the front and for the back is one inch So I'll place the waist measurement. The waist measurement that I'm working with is 27 inches. Divided by four is three, six and three quarter. Divided by four is six and three quarter. Plus one inch sewing allowance is seven and three quarter. Plus one inch for that, because I'll be inserting a dart here. So eight and three quarter, which is here. I'll place it. And then, So I'll place the hip measurement here. The hip measurement that I'm working with is 34 inches. Divided by four is eight and a half. So eight and a half plus one and a half inch sewing allowance is nine and a half. Sorry, eight and a half plus one inch sewing allowance is nine and a half. So I'll connect this to this and this. Okay, so now for the dart, I'll measure, I'll be using her nipple to nipple measurements, which I'll be placing on the bust line, waistline, and this line. So let me quickly do that. The bust line, I'll be placing four inches. Her nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches, divided by two is four because it's on fold. So I'll place four inches here. And I'll place four inches here. And four inches here. And I'll connect that into a straight line. Okay, so I've placed the nipple to nipple measurement here. And then on this bust line, I'll come down by one inch here. I'll place one inch here for the dart. One inch. I'll mark it. And on the waistline, I'll place half inch on both sides, which is a total of one inch, which we added. If you remember, we added one inch here. I'll be placing one inch, half inch on both sides. So I'll place it like this. Half inch. Half inch. And then for this hip, this side, I'll come up by two inches. Two inches here. And then I'll connect this. I'll connect this to the. I'll connect this to this. I'll connect this to this. So let me quickly do that. Just watch what I'm doing. So remember the half inch that we marked on both sides. I'm going to mark like a triangle. I'll mark it to meet this point here on this four inches line. So let me quickly do that. So here we have our dart. So I'll cut out the back neckline and the back arm hole first. The back arm hole. So I'll set this aside. When you're placing the four inches, be careful not to place it 
be careful to place it after the zipper allowance. It's very important. Take note of that. So this is it. So I'll come down by one inch also. Here. And then I'll come up by one inch instead of two inches that I did for the front. So which is here. And then I'll take in the half inch on both sides here. So let me open the zipper allowance. So here you have it, the front and the back. And what I'll do first is to use pins to hold this zipper allowance. I'll use pins to hold it. Because what I'll do first is to join the darts. So let me use pins to secure my zipper allowance. If you like, you can use gather stitch to sew it. I've used pin to hold it, so I've marked the dart on all sides to make it easy when sewing. So I've marked it everywhere. What I'll do first is take this to the machine and join the darts. I'll sew the darts first. So let's go to the machine and quickly do that. So I've joined the dots for the front and for the back here. So now what I'll do next is to join it on the shoulder with half of an inch or quarter of an inch. So I'll join it on these two sides, after which I will shape it because I want to shape it before covering the armhole with a bias strip. So I will join the shoulders and then I will shape it. So let me quickly do that so that when I go to the machine, I will shape it at once. So the bust measurement that I'm working with is 32 inches. 32 divided by 2 is 16 inches. So I'll check what I have here. I have 17 and a half, which means I have one and a half inches SS. This is, this is 16 inches. So I have one and a half inches. So, so I have one and a half inches. So what I'll do is to shape out three quarter here and then three quarter on this other side. So let me do it. Three quarter. Three quarter and three quarter. So I'll come to the waistline and place the waist measurement. The waist measurement that I'm working with is 27 inches. Divided by 2 is 13 and a half. So I'll place the 13 and a half. Okay. And what I have left is 2 inches. So I'll be marking 1 inch on both sides. On both sides. So I'll mark 1 inch here. And I'll mark 1 inch here. So I'll connect this to this. So that's how to shape. I'll connect this to this. So when I'm sewing, I'll just know that I'm sewing on that line. And I'll do the same. I'll connect this. This is a three-quarter inch. I'll connect it to here. 